Life is a roller coaster. One moment you're up and one moment you're down. One moment there is great excitement or great fear. But knowing that God is in the seat next to you makes the experience more bearable. But do you trust him? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Solomon tells us to trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. But what does it mean to trust in the Lord with all your heart? Let's define what the word trust means. According to the Webster Dictionary, trust is assured reliance on the character, ability, strength, or truth of someone or something. The Cambridge Dictionary defines trust as to believe that someone is good and honest and will not harm you, or that something is safe and reliable. The Hebrew word for trust is bata. It means to have confidence, be confident, be bold, and be secure. But trust between two parties is developed over time. It's not something that happens overnight. You have to get to know someone in order to trust them. So God has a leg up on us. He told Jeremiah, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, indicating that he knew us before we were created. God is asking us to trust him wholeheartedly. Trust in God with all of our hearts mean giving him, means giving him all of us, all of what we are. Heart in this verse refers to the mind, which is the center of our being, the foundation of who we are. He's asking us to trust him with our thoughts, our feelings, our lives, our decisions. But in order to trust God, we have to get to know him in a deeper way, not just know of him. Then he says, to lean not unto thine own understanding. This means not to rely on yourself and your abilities, but look toward his divine instructions. In verse six, he says, in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall, not will, he shall direct thy path. Ways means journey. And acknowledge means to ascertain by seeing, be aware or acquainted. So in our life's journey, not in some things, but in all things, we are to see God. We are to see him in everything that we do. It's easy to trust when life is great, but the real challenge happens when all hell is breaking loose in our lives. When joy turns into sadness, sorrow and despair. When you go from the mountaintop to the valley, how do you trust the Lord when you don't know what to do? How do you trust the Lord when you are not sure how you will pay your next bill or put food on the table when your job is unsteady or uncertain or non-existent, when your marriage is falling apart or failing? These are not easy things to deal with and yet, in the middle of life, if we acknowledge God in all our ways, the verse says, he shall direct thy path. Isaiah 45 said, I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. God will make a way. If you are dependent on a GPS system to get you from point A to point B, but you're not listening to the, to the directions, you are bound to miss your turn. God can't direct us if we can't hear him and hearing God means knowing him in a deeper way. We have to see him in the good times and in the bad times as well. Let's remember what the three Hebrew boys experienced in the fiery furnace. They were not spared from the furnace. But in the midst of their trouble, God was with them. 
Daniel was not spared from being thrown in the lion's den. But in the midst of that, God was. You've got to believe and you've got to know that God is with you. Life is a roller coaster. But allowing God to sit in the seat next to you for sure makes it more bearable. But we must trust God with all of our hearts. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mumana for Thought.